Hey guys, welcome back to my infinite painter tutorial, as you can see this chain is uneven, it's because I drew this chain manually in hurry, drawing chains can take a lot of time depending on the level of detail you want on it. For more details and realistic approach it's best to do it manually but for those who want to draw it quickly can use a brush like this. As you can see it won't give details on the links, you'll have to draw it manually but it's still faster. So, to make the brush create a square canvas, I'm using the default Instagram preset, but you can use as much pixels as you want. First enable the vertical symmetry tool. Then lock it in its place. Enable the grid tool also. You can hide the grid from here. Now this is the maximum size of the monoline brush. To increase the limit go to the settings. Then increase the size range bar. Now, we can increase its size even more. Draw a line in the middle. Disable the grid tool. Duplicate this layer. And then enable the alpha lock. Now, paint it white, so we can see it properly. Use the basic transformation to adjust the size. Change it from basic to distort and adjust the bottom and top part. You don't have to create this layer, it's just to show you guys that the white part is not transparent. Change the white layer from normal to erase. Now, merge it. As you can see, we've created a hole. Now, create a clip layer. Use the grid tool to draw a straight vertical line inside, then disable it. For the curve you can use arc tool or just hold your stroke. Now, use the blur filter on it. Create two duplicate and merge them. Erase the edges partially. After you're done, tap on the three dots and export it as PNG. Now, go to the brush library, under the calligraphy section duplicate, the monoline brush. Other brush won't work. Rename this duplicate brush. Then go to the settings. Go to the head category, and import the PNG file we exported. Select it. After selecting, disable the invert and enable the color option. Draw and hold a stroke to see the changes live. Now, we'll change the spacing option at the end, because first we need to change the angle of the brush head horizontally. And drag rotation all the way to the right, until it shows tangent text. Now, go to the bottom, and change the scatter and angle bar slightly. At the end, increase the spacing until they cross each other so that you can see a small hole. That's it, it's done, if you want further details on the chain, you can do so, just by adding a clip layer. Thanks for watching, if it helped then like the video, and subscribe for more videos like this, you can also follow me on Instagram, links in the description.